At the Natural History Museum in Washington DC, back in the 70s, the orthopedic Stephen Levin saw a giant dinosaur with a very long neck. Suddenly, it hit him. It shouldn't be possible. In a body where muscles and skeleton work like levers, a throat of such length should never cope with the enormous force of gravity. The dinosaur would fall apart. Levin knew that he was onto something, and recalled something that he had read about, tensegrity a structural principle coined by architect Buckminster Fuller ten years earlier, where hard parts like spells and soft parts like ropes create a flexible force through the combination of tension and stability. Just like the Needle Tower in Seattle, built in 1968, six floors straight up, consisting of almost nothing but air. Levin realized that for the body to work it needs just this. It's the only model that by itself fits all living organisms. He called his discovery biotensegrity, and that changed our view of how the human body is built. New discoveries evoke new insights. The idea of a skeleton as a structure that all muscles and organs attach to and hang upon, where muscles and skeleton work together like mechanics, is obsolete. Instead, we began to look at what surrounds the muscle and the skeletons, studying the connective tissue, the fascia. Fascia is a network of connective tissue that encloses everything throughout the body, from muscles and bones to organs and cells. It's like a spider web of hard and soft parts, strong as steel but flexible as threads, just as Levin showed with his biotensegrity. The fascia neutralizes the gravitational force in the body, preventing us from collapsing. It's a complete body block from micro to macro. In 1998, the biologist Donald Ingber showed that even the cell, the smallest element of the body, is surrounded by fascia. The fascia acts as a cell scaffold, which you can read more about in the article Architecture of Life. The fascia is also vital for balance and coordination, and contains neurons that signal pain throughout the nervous system, and here you can also find inflammatory cells. The fascia also acts as a defense against shock. For example, if you hit your foot, it makes sure that the force of the impact is distributed to your legs, knees, hip and back. However, this is relatively new research. In 2005, the Fascia Research Society was formed, an international network of researchers dedicated to the detailed study of fascia. At a lecture, surgeon Jean-Claude Gimbetot presented a movie about living connective tissue and said, We thought that fascia was nothing, and now we know, it's everything. Anatomy professor Siegfried Mense showed that the inflammation in the fascia is a source of pain in the lumbar spine. And at the 2015 conference, veterinarian Vibeke Elbrun presented that even horses have the same fascia structure as humans, as well as how mechanical deep way affect the connective tissue during treatment by turning off pain receptors, increased circulation and reduce inflammation. In Sweden, Professor Carl E. Arfors and innovator Hans Bolin lead the search for a better understanding of the fascia, and new discoveries evoke new insights. Professor Mense showed that inflammation in the fascia leads to pain in the back. Now we know that similar conditions exist in cases of whiplash, tennis elbow, heel spur and frozen shoulder. We also know that inflammation is related to diabetes, Alzheimer's and even cancer. New innovations facilitate the treatment of the fascia on both humans and animals, and bring new reports from thousands of horses running faster and people with reduced pain every month. The research on what part the fascia plays in our bodies continues, and more discoveries await around the corner. <laughs>